हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस ऑनलाइन स्टडी प्लेटफॉर्म माई सेल्फ कायनाथ बानो आई एम बैक विथ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज लेसन फाइव क्रिएटी क्रॉलीज स्टूडेंट इट इज एन एक्टिविटी लेसन हेयर इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन इंसेक्ट्स worms and snails reptiles spiders useful creepy crawlies and harmful creepy crawlies first introduction students if you will look around yourself you will see various type of animals but what is scare you the most insects so let's talk about insects insects are some small creatures that are found everywhere around us they hide in corners inside our houses in gardens under the ground on trees and in water some of them are useful to us while some harm us common insects are ants grasshoppers cockroaches mosquitoes and ladybirds student insects are everywhere you are probably familiar with some common insect such as grasshopper cockroaches mosquitoes ladybirds dragonfly and etc insects are the largest group of animals on the earth now body of an insect all insects have six legs the body of an insect is divided into three parts head thorax and abdomen the head of an insect has two eyes two feelers or antenna and a mouth the antenna help the insects to smell taste and hear insects have soft bodies and no bones but have a hard covering the part of the insects body between the neck and belly is the thorax the abdomen of an insect contains the heart and organs for breathing and digestion so here in this picture we can see eye antenna antenna is also known as feelers then six leg head thorax abdomen and wings so that's all about a body of an insect now insects wings some insects like flies have two wings beetles dragon flies and bees have four wings insects like cockroaches bees wasps and beetles can walk as well as fly termites and ants generally crawl till they do develop wings after which they can fly as well mosquitoes and butterflies have wings that help them fly insects like silver fish and love do not have wings and can be crawl here are the example of some insects butterfly house fly silver fish and ant now insects mouth insects have a special type of mouth which help them to get their food butterflies use their tube like mouth to suck nectar from flowers mosquitoes suck blood with its needle like mouth grasshoppers have a biting and chewing type of mouth with which they feed on plant parts now worms and snails worms and snails are common sight in our gardens while worms can be seen squirming on the ground snails are seen crawling across leaves and on plant stem both are known to be wriggly and slimy snails have very soft bodies and no bones snails have a hard round shell 
on their bodies that protects them worms are soft body they have a long cylindrical tube like body and no limbs earthworms cannot fly they wriggle and crawl here we can see in this picture of a snail and earthworm now centipedes millipedes and caterpillars have many legs we can see in this picture caterpillars are the young ones of butterflies now reptiles lizards garden lizard and chameleons are all reptiles lizards have long sticky tongue which help them to catch their food most of the reptiles feed on insects like mosquitoes butterflies moth house flies and cockroaches chameleons usually eat large insects such as locusts grasshoppers crickets and stick insects they change their color according to their surroundings so that they can hide from their enemies this is called camouflaging spiders spiders are neither insect nor worms they are not reptiles either their body is divided into two parts and they have eight legs spiders have, are of different types and are found almost everywhere they are found in corners of rooms and in dark areas of cupboards some spiders also live on plants and trees spiders spin a web to catch their prey they secrete a liquid that forms a sticky thread this thread that a spider uses to make its web come out of its body as liquid but dries quickly in the air when an insect such as mosquito flies into a spider web it gets stuck on the thread as it is sticky now useful creepy crawlies creepy crawlies are useful to us in many ways earthworms mix up the soil their digging loosens the soil and make it fertile they are also called farmer's friend honey bees give us honey which they make by sucking the nectar from the flowers silkworms give us silk which is used to make cloths lizard help us by eating flies and mosquitoes which help in preventing disease caused by them now harmful creepy crawlies some creepy crawlies are harmful to us bee and wasp sting can be painful flies spread disease such as cholera food poisoning and diarrhea they use a body part called sting to defend themselves when attacked flies spread disease such as cholera food poisoning and diarrhea they sit on garbage and dirt and transfer the germs sticking to their bodies to our food when we eat this food we fall sick mosquitoes bite women and cause disease like malaria dengue and chikungunya mosquitoes breed in stagnant water we should we should keep our surrounding clean and not allow water to collect near our homes or in containers that's all about this lesson now we will do book work so children as i have told you that it is an activity chapter so we have to do book work also we will not do question answer so all of you open page number 39 a part who am i write the answer first one is i spin a web and people think i am an insect which i am not what will be the answer yes spider 
Now second, I suck blood with my needle like mouth. What will be the answer? Yes, mosquito. I change my color according to the surroundings. Chameleon. Fourth one, I am slimy, do not have bones but have a hard round cell. Answer will be snail. So that's all about A part, who am I? Now we will go on B part, give one example of each. So insect with four wings, the answer will be dragonfly. Insects that can sting, wasp. Insect that can fly, bee. Insect that causes disease, mosquito. Now C part. Write T for true and F for false. Silkworm give us silk which is used to make cloths. It is true. Lizards mix up the soil and make it fertile. No children. Earthworm mix up the soil and make it fertile. Not lizard. So it will be false. Worms and snails are wriggly and slimy. True. Silverfish love to swim in water. No, silverfish is an insect. So it will be false. That's all about this lesson. I hope you all have understood. Thank you and have a nice day.